So I came across new thing of recently. It's called Odor Eaters. Yep, it is supposed to keep your feet dry and uh, also at the same time prevent your feet from smelling. I just want something to wipe my feet off because they're kind of wet. I don't want to. Right, I got some tissues right here. Okay. As you can see, I've already put up KT tape. If you have seen some of my previous videos, I explained why I'm putting up KT tape. It just uh, for the new boots um, that I recently purchased, the uh, Lowa Zephyrs. They are kind of they are new and pressing against my feet on a couple of spots. So uh, I just I'm using the KT tape Pro to prevent you know, rubbing of those shoes against my feet. Uh, okay, so you just want to put some of the... Wow. Wow. Mm. I was hoping that it would be odorless, but uh, it has some odor to it. So you just want to put some of that odor eaters on your feet. And like I mentioned, my favorite cheap $1 liner socks which I usually get from uh, Dollar Tree so uh, KT tape odor eaters don't put on odor eaters before putting on your KT tape so first put on your KT tape odor eaters and then the liner socks oh gosh that thing smells really good wow nice and after that I use I got these from Walmart they are a blend of merino wool and I believe uh, some other polyester stuff so they are really good I've already used them once and I washed them and uh, I'm gonna reuse them they're really good okay so uh, finally the boot itself So one thing you need to be sure uh, you need to make sure is you need to tighten your boots really well after you put up all your socks and odor eaters. Tighten your boots really well. You know, make sure that your feet inside the boot doesn't move around. Like I mentioned in the review of my lower zephyr boots, these lace aren't the best things so uh, they kind of tend to mm, tend to loosen you know, come loose after hiking a few miles every time so uh, I kind of tighten them every once in a while so you tighten your shoe really well and uh, make sure your feet inside your boot doesn't move around yep that's about it like I mentioned KD tape odor eaters liner socks merino wool socks and your boots Hey guys, uh, quick, uh, quick comment on uh, after the hiking. I just reached home. I was super tired to do this video uh, after that hike, but I couldn't make it all the way. Oh, I couldn't make it all the way to the King's Peak summit. I had to turn back from uh, turn back from Anderson Pass which is about uh, 20 miles round hike, road trip hike uh, there was like a lot of snow at least a knee deep of snow and uh, yeah I don't have any blisters or uh, any bruises on my leg just taking out my uh, KT tape and the great thing is my feet also doesn't smell thanks to 
odorators this thing really works so uh, you may want to check this out if you haven't already and uh, the boots are kind of clean because of the silicone coating that I use I think uh, yeah this is the one silicone heavy duty water repellent I mean sorry kiwi heavy duty water repellent that I used so uh, oh damn you okay. water streams all the time New, uh, boots are clean and uh, my feet are dry and yeah I don't have any blisters or bruises other than my toes really hurt a little bit because of all that slipping through the snow they I really feel a lot of pain and the uh, to toes a little bit but other than that it feels awesome after I mean it doesn't feel awesome though but it f I don't feel any pain other than the toes which is really good after 20 miles of hike it was about 12 hours of hiking that I was doing and uh, they don't smell yep so uh, stay tuned for such more uh, more such uh, videos and please do subscribe and let me know what you would want to see uh, what kind of videos you want to see thanks a lot guys